Here is a statement about being blue with no particular reference whatsoever. <sighs> Alright, a little bit less blue, much more cheerful, much, much more bright, much more presentable. Welcome folks, today we're going to be taking a look at some new Aqua Force support that has just come, or rather almost a month ago, arrived in Vanguard Zero JP with set 14, which was of course Tetra Drive with Tidal Assault, which was kind of like a staple for the clan for many, many years to come and stayed a staple, I think, until almost the very end of G, actually, until it got printed in the new version in the V-Series. So, this has actually been the deck I've been playing a lot lately, purely because I underestimated completely when I first built it and when I was first playing with it, but then after actually like testing with it and like making some improvements to the deck, I've actually been finding this deck to be really, really fun and I highly recommend it. A lot of people when Tetra Drive was revealed were kind of looking at it like, ah, this doesn't seem that good. Is this really going to be winning? You know, is it really like worth to even like invest in? But honestly, I found it to be really, really good and the best card of the deck actually surprised me as to what it was. All right, so let's take a look at the list and here it is. So there are some things that you can easily change up in this list if you want to, in particular, the one of Flex grade 3. This is really, I would almost want to say up to preference. Some people run Diamante, some people run Revon, some people run Maelstrom. I personally like Maelstrom as a random one of because this deck can achieve 4 attacks very easily. As you notice, I'm not running Diamantes or Basil and I'll talk about why. So, uh, where do we even start? Honestly, there's so much to start from. Let's start with Tetra Drive, the actual boss card. So, Tetra Drive uh, got some nice buffs actually. So, Vanguard Circle and Break 4 once per turn. When it attacks, for that turn, gain 5k and the following ability. Vanguard Circle, when your rear guard attacks for the fourth or more battle and the battle ends, count us to discard two, stand this unit and draw two. So how this works is that you have to basically attack with your, like you can attack with this first, for example, but you cannot attack with it fourth. So you have to make sure that it goes like one, like rear guard is one, rear guard is two, vanguard is three, or like vanguard is one and then rear guards up to the fourth, or, you know, some other order that result in your rear guard being the fourth attack, and this has to be before that fourth attack. So whatever you want, you can attack into anything you want because he gains the, the skill on attack. So for example, you can swing with a rear into an intercept, then with the tetra drive into an intercept, and then with the rear guard into vanguard, and then another time with like a restanding rear guard or a lane swapper rear guard again into the vanguard, even if it misses. As long as the attack ends and it's the fourth battle, even if it doesn't hit, you can almost two and restand him, and that's really, really nice. So obviously, you have to keep two cards in hand, but it's you know, pretty easy to do, and you have a starter that draws you extra cards in the battle phase, so you can kind of fill up that second card mid-battle phase as well, which is really nice. On top of that, he gains plus 3k when he attacks the vanguard, so that's a total of plus 8, so usually with like any booster you'll be hitting for nice numbers. He does pump himself up to essentially like 19k, so with basically any booster that's 7k or above, you're hitting for 26, which is a magic number, and that's very much appreciated. Now, he is a restanding vanguard, so we can use our break ride even more efficiently, so our break ride transcore says when we break out over it, we give the vanguard the skill that when our vanguard attacks the opponent's vanguard, our opponent must discard a random card that is not a sentinel from their hand. If they couldn't, for that battle, this unit gains plus one crit and they cannot sentinel. So but this basically means that if you can actually pull off the two tetra drive attacks into the vanguard, you're forcing them to discard two cards in one turn basically, and that can sometimes rip out their break ride, rip out their most important cards for their strategy. You know, on stream I had a game where I played against a Revenger player, I ripped out both their Mordred and their Raging form, and then they couldn't, they had to like break ride into a different grade 3, and that feels pretty bad. So, obviously it's a really good card because you can abuse it in this deck. However, Glory Maelstrom is still a really nice win con. You know, the limit break 5, when attacks Vanguard count must 2, gain 5k in a crit, and they have to discard a grade 3 if, you, if they want a PG, otherwise they can't PG. This, of course, is an amazing ability, Pure Purely because, like, sometimes they just, you know, they think you're running Diamantes or something, or some other grade 3 like Revon, and they don't expect it. They give you 5 damage, you have 2 Canalbots face up, you know, they're like, oh, I won't die to the Transcore, you know, I have 2 PG, uh, not to the Transcore, I won't die to the Tetra Drive, I have like 2 PGs or whatever, but you just give them the, you know, the special surprise Glory Maelstrom and they can't do much with it, you know. You've seen me die to this card, that you know how punishing it really can be. Now, I talked about the starter that draws. This is the new one, which is the Bubble Edge Draco Kid. He has a skill that you put him into the soul and give any unit the following skill. When this unit attacks the Vanguard, on Vanguard or Regard Circle, if it's the fourth or more battle of that turn, you draw one. So, you can actually set up for five attacks in a turn, where you can give something the skill, and they will attack for the fourth and the fifth attack. Therefore, you draw two cards from just putting one card into the soul, which is really, really nice. And on top of that, this card will only get better in the future because we get even more reliable ways to do like four or five attacks in a turn so we can draw two reliably from one card in some metas even drawing three so keep an eye on bubble edge i think he is one of the best taco force starters personally like it's very hard to top this effect in my opinion then the actual multi-attackers we have of course title assault so title assault says 
Once per turn, we get circle. At the end of the battle that he attacked the Vanguard, you can stand this unit and he loses 5k power. So, of course, you might be thinking, oh, he just becomes 4k, like this isn't gonna be hitting anything, you know, he can't even attack rear guard and stuff like that. And that's why you have to basically swing rear with something else and then swing another rear if they have both intercepts up with a Tetra Drive and then swing with the Tidal Assault twice. Even if it's not hitting on the second attack, it's perfectly fine. On top of that, because you're attacking with the Tetra Drive first, you can put all triggers on the Tidal Assault. So we can swing for like 14 or 19 unboosted and then restand and with like an 8k or 7k boost in the back and then swing again with a nice number. So I think for that reason, this card is still fantastic and still really good even in zero. Then three Coral Assaults, being able to hit 12k on its own is really important because oftentimes the way we're swapping our, our columns and stuff will make it so that we need something that can hit 11 at least against the opponent's grade 3 and this does that perfectly. So you'll swing with something, then we'll, you'll swing with a Tetra and then you use the uh, Wheel Assault that we'll take a look at later to put the Coral Assault, for example, up in the front without a booster and then it can still swing into the Vanguard unboosted and then for, you know, the, the Title Assault to actually swing twice. And of course, I already mentioned that Wheel Assault is, in my opinion, the best best card in the deck that actually makes everything function and can just pull off surprise wins out of nowhere. Honestly, this card has probably won me more games, like if I had to attribute my wins to one card, it's probably Wheel Assault. Wheel Assault says at the end of the battle that it boosted on Rearguard Circle, Kalamas won and choose two Rearguards and swap their positions. So what you do is you use your starter, chuck it in the soul, give something that skill to draw extra cards, then you put an attacker like Coral Assault or a Great 3 behind your Vanguard and then you basically like swing with something or swing with even with him boosted and then exchange the thing that he boosted with the Coral Assault in the back, then swing with Tetra Drive into a boost, into an intercept, and then swing with, let's say, a Coral Assault or Grade 3 into Vanguard, and then Tidal Assault attacks twice, and then you basically restand the Tetra Drive for another attack. If you have a Break Ride, that's even better. So, Wheel Assault is fantastic. Even when you don't have Tetra Drive, he basically gives you four attacks every turn, like just for one Cannon Blast. So, if your opponent's at five and they have double intercept, they are not safe because you can swing into one intercept with this, use it, pull something out of the back row, then swing into the other, in, other intercept, and then you still have Vanguard and another rearguard to swing into the Vanguard to basically take out that PG and deal the 6 damage. So, Wheel Assault is fantastic. And then, on top of that, for 8k Vanillas, I feel like there are other cards you could play, like the 10k Attacker and whatnot, but I personally feel like the 8k Vanilla just makes everything else quite nice. It also lets you push on grade 2 turns together with Coral, which I sometimes do, depending on the matchup. And so for that reason, I kind of like the 8k Vanillas, but you can sw switch this with the 10k Attacker, or you can take out one of them for another Penguin for the Soul Blast 2 and draw. I personally like this lineup, it's been doing really good for me, so of course, as I said, my decks are a skeleton for you guys to experiment with, so if you have other ideas or if you don't agree with my deck list entirely, feel free to try out your own things, you know, let me know what you try out in the comments as well, but this should at least give you a start to start working from and building up your deck. Then I'm running two 10k uh, vanillas, purely because, you know, it's it's good, again, it's good to just like, you know, swing an intercept without really needing to have like any other uh, boosters and stuff like that, even if they play 10k vanillas. And finally, we have the counter charger. So this is just when his attack is a vanguard, counter charge one. We do counter bust a fair bit in this deck, so tetra drive, of course, counter bust two, glory counter bust two, and the wheel assault also counter busts one. So we do need the counter charge sometimes. That's also the reason why I don't play Basil or Diamantes, because then you are relying on way too much counter mass per turn that it becomes a little bit infeasible. So yeah, I think I covered basically everything. Nine draws because it's a very peace reliant deck. If anything, you can make space for Cynthia, so your ditch and draw grade one. I did like that in Maelstrom quite a lot, but in this I just like the pure numbers um, kind of like presence, I guess, on the board that we have with the AK Vanilla. So let's just get into some games and try the deck out. All right, let's see. We're playing against Shadows. All right, so it's going to be Avengers, you know, the most common deck you'll see in Ranked. Doesn't change whether you're playing against, like, you know, I think once you guys get this set in Global, get you seeing this deck all the damn time. This is a really good opening hand. No PGs, but, like, this is a piece, this is a break ride we need. Maybe the Coral Assault doesn't really make much sense right now. I'd rather ride the 10k Vanilla into a PG. Absolutely fantastic. All right, cool. We have our grade 2 to 3 rides. You know, grade 1, 2, 3 rides. And then we already... Oh! And we even have the Break Ride target. And Wheel Assault for the combos. Really good opening, so let's try to execute well here. So, you know, I don't normally take my games too seriously. You know, I kind of, I play Zero for fun. I know that's like a weird statement to say like, oh, you know, you're not trying to win. It's like, I like to play this game being kind of like, just like kind of, you know, paced out a little bit. Just like, you know, take my time, not really stress about like counting triggers and whatnot. And just sort of like, take it at my own pace, play it on stream while talking to people, or sometimes like I'll be calling a friend or something and just like playing the game, so... 
apologies. I know you guys get kind of tilted when I do misplays or I don't notice my opponent like check a PG and go on the on the bottom of the deck or something. You know, I understand that. I definitely feel that way um, when I rewatch it or when I edit it and stuff like that. But you know. I'll try my best. <laughs> that's, that's the best thing I can say right now. Anyway, we're just gonna swing here. There's no reason to push early, because um, we are very limit break reliant and we're playing against a deck that can retire our stuff. And he can rush me pretty well too, so I'm expecting him to maybe even give me the break ride pretty soon, potentially, perhaps? I don't really know. But yeah, it's interesting because like, this set to me, set 14, is actually like probably one of the best like quality card sets in Zero so far. Um, the reason why I say that is just because, like, every single deck is so fun. Even the decks that aren't supposed to be that good, like for me, like, Ramuel Reverse isn't supposed to be that fantastic, I think, but it's still a really fun deck. Like, in its own right, those decks are still super fun, and that's what makes them so great, in my opinion, you know? So, you know, for those reasons, I kind of enjoy just, like, you know, playing these decks, and, like, even though set 15 isn't that hype for me, I think I'll just keep playing these decks for a lot of next month as well. Alright, now we have to think, uh, I think I want to put down one intercept because he'll still be able to like swing three times at my face probably, and I don't want him to like blast or dark. He could blast or dark the intercept, that's the only thing. But then he uses counter blast at least. Uh, I kind of want to push him to three, so then at least I have like lethal-ish presence, but at the same time I need units on the board, man, that's kind of awkward. I'm gonna believe in the fact that I can check draws, like a true gamer, like a gaming god, as we do. <laughs> I'm gonna believe in my opportunity. Believe in the chance of victory. Alright, we see a Raging Form. So naturally, he should be riding the Mordred next. I have one PG, so maybe I'll be okay. The one intercept should be okay. I think he'll ignore the the, the Transcore on my rear as well, potentially. We'll see. He might also... Oh, overdrawn to PG, that's big. He might also just like not pop the Intercept and just like pop my starter instead, because the starter is actually like pretty good. Start is pretty good, so let's find out what he does. Alright, so... Is he watching the animation, or is he deciding if he wants to blast the Dark Me or not? Alright, Goat, good. Always happy to see Goat. Goat is pretty goaded, as I've said before. What did he- wait, what did he find? Does he even show? I think he did. Ah, oh, Blaster Dark, here we go. He found... Ah, Raging Form. Okay, so we know he has the Break Ride set up, but we might be able to pull it out. Because if he gives me... If he pops the Intercept here, he did not... Aha, uh -huh, I told you, I told you. Alright, let's see. If he's gonna be afraid here to push or not. Ooh, dropping that Tartu as well. Okay, he's gonna push me to 5 here. That's looking to be the situation we're gonna be put in. Ah, uh, Tidal Assault going down kind of hurts. As I said, he is ignoring the, the, the Transcore here, which is pretty good, so that means... I'm still in a pretty weird situation. Uh, needed a draw there, I think. That's kind of good. Alright, hold on, let me think about this. We Break Ride, and then we need to make 4 attacks. So we do Swing. We Swing with like a... Uh, we can do like a double wheel assault. Oh, that's weird. Uh, how do I do this? How do I do this? I think I need to like. Damn, what's the what's the play here? I think I have to break right and then just like pray I draw into something because I have to like drop my entire hand. We got pushed way too fast. Even putting down the intercept didn't really help. I think we just have to do this just to find. Oh God, but I have to like drop my entire hand. It kind of sucks. We have to check a draw. For this not to go to waste, but we might be able to push out the Raging Form out of his hand, which is kind of good. I don't know, it's kind of struggle street, so let's see what, what where this gets me, you know? Let's see where this gets me. Um, oh, hold on, wait, 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 I see a line. I see a line that we can actually kind of do. I kind of see a line. So we can swing with the rear here, the 14 into a rear, swap out the counter charger from the back row, putting this booster rested. So basically, okay, here's what we do. We have to check a draw here to actually make this count, but, you know, for what it's worth, it's worth attempting. So, might not work out, might work out. We're gonna find out in a moment, but... Alright, swing into that. Swing into this. Uh, see if there's defensive. There is. That's kind of okay, though. It's kind of okay, because it's 26 minimum. Um, 29, actually. And we need one draw. Just one draw and we're good. Raging form, locked out. Alright, come on, just one draw, one draw, one draw. Damn it. Oh my god, alright. Unfortunate, but we got the Raging Form out of his hand, and if you use the skill, it kind of tells me he didn't have it. So, fuck, he did! Oh my god. Uh, ha ha. I don't think I made any misplays there, though. Like, I think that was basically my only out. Here, he can just call Blaster Dark and just pop my Intercept, so I think we're gonna have to just call that a game. Um, yeah, we, like, we needed a draw. I don't know if I could have... 
There was one line of play I could have done differently, which was the turn 3 when I was sitting on Transcore. I could have set up the Wheel Assaults earlier, used the Starter Skill to get one extra draw, and that might have made a difference. But I don't normally do that, that's the only thing, right? That's, I don't normally do that. Alright, so he's gonna swing here. I'm gonna need, like, two heals at least. Yeah, I need two heals to survive this, so... Let's just, uh, one and done here. Alright, Lambros. Uh, Lambros brought me a heal. Alright, well, if you can bring me a second one, I'll gladly continue. <laughs> if you can bring me a second one, I'll continue, but only if. Only if. Alright, here we go. Ah, but he didn't boost, that's kinda smart. So here, I have to heal again, then I'm 31, and then he can break... He can break 31, so I need three heals. Damn. Alright. Yeah, never mind, that's not happening. Yeah, that game was just kind of weird, I think. It was just, we were already in like a really behind from really early on, and that kind of made things very difficult. Alright, and this time it's gonna be Revengers again. Is it the same person? Of course it is. Do people, you know, I understand that it's like, like literally 4am in Japan right now, but... The... Where is everyone? Where y'all... Where's everyone gone? Uh, I feel like so many Deccan fights lately, like I record at night because I have to wait until I'm done with work, and I just like don't see people. It's weird. I'll keep the title here, I think. I kind of want to keep the title. Uh, glory start. Uh, this might be a little bit shifty. Alright, we'll see. We'll see. Okay, Penguin, you might come in handy. Might not. I'm not sure. We'll find out. I think I ride Coral next turn. Keep the title for, I guess, just drawing with a starter. It's gonna be my, my strat, I think, I suppose. Let's find out. Otherwise... Yeah, I guess I can just draw with a starter. Let him attack here, and then I'll ride here and swing. And then we maybe top deck into Tetra. Ooh, the regular Maelstrom looks a bit better here than... See, it's like, that one of grade 3 can sometimes be pretty good for you, like, just in having pieces like this, you know? Like, I probably won't use it. If anything, I'll cross ride into Glory Maelstrom and then just, like, you know, this won't even be a Tetra Drive deck and fight. But, I mean, let's see. Let's see how this goes. Worst case, I'll just sit on Maelstrom for a little bit. And then just like going, like just hold on to the glory. Maybe go into Tetra Drive anyway to push, and then go into glory later. You know, it kind of depends on the situation. We're gonna see what happens. Just gonna swing. Gets a PG. I'm gonna try to remember that. <laughs> I will use a hundred percent of my brain to try and remember that. All right. So I think this hand actually allows me to go. Pretty, hold on. Let's ride Maelstrom here. So you know, kind of weird. Not the usual grade three I would ride. But all right. Let's. I think I want to use this already. Where do I want to put the Wheel Assault? Behind Vanguard? How many times can I attack here? Hold on, let me think about this. I need to attack into rear. I could do a... Hold on. I could do this on title, put Glory behind here, then do Penguin and Wheel. Then Penguin swaps out for the Glory. Glory swings into this, and then I get one, two, three, four, five. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 all right, let's draw some cards. Let me show you the power of the starter. So we put this here, we have to gigabrain our, our game plan here. <laughs> draw into Tetra Drive, saving private Tetra Drive. All right, put this here, and we can put this glory down here, that will swap into that, and then this thing is sitting here to boost him, and hopefully triggers can go on the title assault. That would be fantastic. So let's go. Alright, so, we use the skill of him, put the booster where it belongs, and then we just swap Arino. Then I attack with this, because I think the Maelstrom gains power, if I'm not mistaken. He gets a draw, but that's kind of whatever. Honestly, I'm just trying to draw cards here. Hold me. Brother. Pal. Comrade. Comrade? I'm not sure how you pronounce that word. I should know. It's definitely com comrade. Comrade? Comrade? I need to stop questioning myself. My opponent checks heals when I start questioning my linguistic ability. Okay, Tetra Drive, Tetra Drive found. He drove home. And then we attack again just to draw an extra card. So that's like the magic of this of this starter, right? Like, it's pretty easy to set up that, like, five attack pattern just to draw two cards from the starter. And if you can, like, get it off before your opponent pops it, like Revengers, for example, uh, it's pretty good. So just gotta be careful. Gotta be a little, a little, a little careful. Anyway. Blaster Dark coming through, not knowing that I drew into another Wheel Assault. Naturally, naturally. Alright, so I'm gonna swing into my title. Does he want to give me Limit Break now? The only- I still have four attacks, so I can I technically do Tetra. I'm just curious if he's gonna give me Limit Break or not. Ooh, we find ourselves a draw, that's very nice. He's giving me the Limit Break. 
Do I actually do what I said earlier and just do Tetra Drive here? I have like two... Look at all these dud grade threes in my hand. I could definitely pull this off. Just like go into Tetra, put the Wheel of Salt back in here. Ah, uh, but what's the, what does the Wheel of Salt even do here? It doesn't swap anything necessary. I might have to actually like, kill this. It's kind of yikes. Kind of yikers, if you ask me. Alternatively... I think I do go into this. It's a bit weird, bear with me, but I think I do go into this. Let's go into Tetra. It's, I think it's better than Maelstrom. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong and popping the door is better, but... I don't know. I might regret this. We're gonna find out. Life is all about the challenges. Life is all about the exciting decisions you take as you maneuver the real world. <laughs> and whatever that means. Wait, hold on. Do I have to do like a whiff attack with the penguin? I think I do. I think I do have to do a whiff attack with the penguin. Just to not waste resources. Alright, we have to hurry up. So we do this. Good. And then I... This, there might be a more optimal way to do this? I'm not sure. And then we attack with this to clear this. This will just be a dud. Like the penguin can just... Poof, I don't care. It's fine. <laughs> no draws. Unfortunate, but that's okay. We gain the skill, then we swing this for third. It whiffs. We swing this for fourth. It hits. He hits nothing. We use Tetra. Discard our hand. Zoop. Zip. Alright, then we check... Draw two into two PGs like a god gamer. Hop! Ah, halfway there. Alright. Good enough. Good enough. I'll take- Ooh, and I'll take that draw on top of that, please, sir. If you would be so kind. That is very much appreciated. Alright, cool. We push him to four, but at what cost? That's kind of the thing I'm telling myself right here. We pushed him to four, but at what cost? Because he can go into Raging Form. I didn't notice what he found from his goat. Ooh, I do have a PG, but he attacks three times to face, which means... I still need to, like, check a defensive or something. Or not even defensive, to be honest, because he can swing here, take my PG out, and then swing with this. I get a defensive and this still hits, so... Gotta be a draw into PG or heal, is what I'm looking for. Alright, let's find out. Okay, Tartu. Tartitu, what will you show me, Tartu? Damn. I keep, like, the, the worst thing about running into the same people in ranked is that you get an actual, like... Like, they get a win streak on you. Feels like you're being styled on. Alright. Yep. Oh, uh, he's smart. He's making it so I have to heal twice. Alright. GG's. We'll play a third one. I don't want to play against the same person all the time. Because I feel like I just keep getting gamer styled on. <laughs> this deck is good. <laughs> Every time. Every deck in fight this month has been like, Guys, trust me, this deck is good. It proceeds to fucking die. <laughs> anyway, let's try another one. One more time for the run back. Alright, the run back begins. I waited like five minutes to make sure that the same Revenger guy doesn't come up, so hopefully we actually get to play against somebody else. That would be pretty cool. But yeah, the deck still feels really, really fun. If you want to see more of it, watch my stream. Um, I don't know how many builds, how many decks I'm building from set 15 because there's only a few things I really want to play. Or like, there's nothing that's like exciting, like super hype, like gets me going crazy. Playing the Makeru. San San Gurami. Welcome. Let's have a good game. Alright, you might see some early Neonectors. People in my comments being like, Oh, Neonectar, deck and fight, please. I actually did pull enough stuff already, so... Maybe, who knows? Shrug. Free shrugs. Anyway, let's see how this game is gonna go. But yeah, man, Overdress is so hype. Like, every Tuesday now, you know, today is Monday evening, but every Tuesday is now, like, so hype. It's so much to get excited about, knowing that it's gonna be Overdress news, you know? Like, just knowing that... What's coming up is Overdress news every Tuesday, however big or small, is just like, it's, I don't know, there's never been so much hype for the TCG before, like, oh my god, I just, man, I can't wait, I really can't wait, I really wanna, like, just share the passion of Vanguard with people, you know? And I hope that those of you that play just Zero also give, like, the TCG a try if you haven't already or if you used to play before, because I think, like, the $4 starter decks are really, like, by far the best entry point you'll ever get. And hopefully we get more information about those starter decks soon, too, because I feel like it's going to be really, really tight. Alright, he used a starter there already. That's kind of early. Um, let's see. I kind of want to push, but I don't think it's worth it. I think the good thing is going to go for a slow push. I have never... This is my first time playing against this deck, so... I don't really have any, like, matchup knowledge, per se. So we're going to just kind of wing it and see what happens. Alright, she checks the Elvira heal. I'm kind of excited to actually... Um, 
I'm kind of excited to see how this deck works now, because I kind of have some pieces, but I want to wait for the event to end in case I pull more, so I have to craft less. You know, that's kind of the goal here. Ooh, gets the top deck, the grade 1, that's pretty good. Alright, swing for second damage. PG going to the bottom, very cool, very cool. And we heal. That's actually fine, because I need to kind of dig into my pieces here. That's kind of a point for using cards like Cynthia, that help you dig, you know, for obvious reasons. Alright, here I think I'll push her to 3. So we go into the Transcore, we do have Tetra Drive in hand. So we do have the setup, we don't have the fourth attack though, so we're kind of trying to dig into that now. I don't think I need the counter charger for a while, so I'm gonna call it down now. I'm gonna hold on to the glory because I might need to go into it, I'm not really sure, but we're gonna find out. Alright, cool. So that's a swing, we're gonna swing again for 19, get a draw, very cool, into a regular Maelstrom, that's fine as well. Alright, into Coral, okay. I think I saw any Tidal Assault go down to the bottom, or did I heal it? I think I healed it, yeah, I healed it, alright. Basically the same thing. <laughs> you don't get to the bottom of your deck fast enough in this game. Running the break ride, that's pretty interesting. I've, I've seen most lists... Um, I've seen most lists for New Nectar not run the break ride, because it feels very restrictive. It's kind of hard to, like, maneuver with. But at least now with the Maelstrom in hand, we have a good rear to just, like... I can just call down and push here, push him to 5. We get a draw into another Transcore, okay. That's fine, I guess. We get a PG as well, so I won't randomly just die. Hmm. I might transcore over transcore, so I'll keep the transcore in hand. Maelstrom, I think, is like, it literally only comes up if you're actually gonna, like, dedicate the game plan to it. Um, maybe I'll call this here. Don't want to overcommit pieces, but it's, like, at least one intercept, so I don't get randomly, like, bum-rushed. Because I'm gonna give him the break right here, right? So I don't want to get, you know, assaulted here, <laughs> to put it lightly. Um, alright. Defensive, great, 2, 12k attacker. Title, another one gone, damn. Alright, we need the wheels and the titles, otherwise we're not doing much here. Alright, no defensives, 12k into rear, that's pretty good. So now they're at 5, and if they can give me 2 damage here, that'd be great. Of course, they can basically now, yeah, break right and clone. Ah, and they call 2, so I think they instantly get, wait a second. Ah, he can count us 2 here to gain 2 crits. It's pretty hot, and he is gonna do that. Alright, plus 1 crit, here comes another one. Plus one crit. All right. Hmm. All right. Let's see. So, do you push? All right. Intercepts coming through. I'm assuming he's gonna leave me on three. It looks like he's leaving me on three. That's what this deck can do. Now I need a wheel assault because I can actually swing it face twice. Please, wheeler title. Wheeler title, and I'm a happy boy. Oh, he's pushing me to five. He's pushing me to five. Hold on. Oh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Alright, one. Ah, that's not the one. I guess we have to go Glory then. I think Glory is my best chance of winning then. Because, like, Tetra, like, we just can't do four attacks. That's literally it. Whereas with this, I can kind of potentially win the game already. I don't want to misplay just for, you know, just to make a point or whatever. Literally the biggest misplay possible. So I think Glory here will do us well. Let's put it that way. It'll do us well. So let's just go for that. And just swing. So we're gonna... If we don't win, at least we're gonna pull out, like, three cards out of their hand. So they're gonna have, be left with two. I have a PG and Intercept. Not exactly surviving. <laughs> Not exactly surviving, but we're kind of okay. Wait, hit the grade three. Hit the grade three. Yes! Good, 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 good. And now, don't show me another one and we're good. <laughs> don't show me another one and we're good. Come on. Come on, baby. Oh, the Wheel Assault was right there. We get a heal, though. That's kind of hot. That's kind of attractive. Oh, ooh, okay, had another one, cool. I'm still hanging on, though. I'm hanging on, I still got my glories. If he pushes me with even one damage here, I'm pretty good. He can, what, soul blast one to kill something, to call something, right? He just needs to do that. Basically, like, pop one of these great ones in the back. You can even pop this one, actually. The intercept? Huh. I guess if he's planning to filter a lot, or if he has more intercepts in hand, he's okay to do that. Otherwise, a bit weird. A bit weird, but it's okay. Alright, here comes a crit. That kind of tells me he's going to swing in my rears and then swing with the Vanguard to get a PG out, so I won't be able to do glory anymore. The heal kind of costing me, potentially, but I mean, I would have lost if I didn't heal, so... It's kind of okay. It's kind of okay. Alright, Soul Blast 1, check top 5, after sacking. Wait, 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 what did he sack? Hold, wait, what did he... What did he retire there? What was the cost? Hold, wait, what? Oh, it was the El Elvira herself? Okay. I don't know, for some reason didn't 
Notice? Pay attention? I don't... Huh? I didn't... Ooh, the heal there is kind of nasty. All right. PG, of course. He over counterblasted now for the crits, I think. Yeah, he's going to swing a rear. I can still kind of survive, maybe. Oh, title assault, but then I don't have anything to discard. I don't have anything to discard. Damn it. Um. Hmm. Hold on. Is this salvageable somehow? <laughs> this is literally a question I'm always asking myself. I could do like ride this, call both of these, put this on the title, and then swing, 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 and then swing, swing, draw one, and hope for one draw. Can I hope for one draw? I'm basically praying. I'm not hoping, I'm actually putting my hands together and praying. I don't have five damage, so I can't do anything with this. Let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. It's better than nothing. Alright, just show me the beautiful, most beautiful draw you've ever seen. Just show me the cutest draw you've ever seen. Give me that sweet, sweet draw action. Here we go. So we swing it a rear. The rears are so damn small. Alright, swing it a rear. Then we'll swing twice with a rear. Come on, oh, wheel assault, come on. One draw. Fuck, we can't do it. We can't do it. I just <laughs> put my life savings into nothing. <laughs> <laughs> no, this deck sucks. We drew into a heal. <sighs> I was not meant to be an Alka Force player. And you can't force something that wasn't meant to be. <laughs> oh my god, man. It's a shame because I really enjoy this deck. Like, most of my games have been with this deck, and I like did these last two weeks basically. And I'm really, really enjoying it. But it's just a shame that some things aren't meant to be on camera, I guess. And it, it'd be like that. It'd simply be like that. And, you know, it's, it's, yep. 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 Very much yep. Alright, he's gonna swing with the rear, get the counter charge. Come on, swing with Van. Alright. I don't know why I wanted him to swing with Van, but at least here if I heal I don't take the rear guard swing. Draw. Do I even have heals left? I don't think I do. I think I don't. No, I don't. Yeah. GG's. <laughs> uh, Alright. I'm not gonna force it anymore. Attempts were made. Neo Nectar best deck. Alco Force. Terrible. Tier 5. Confirmed. Here, here and now live on Different Fight YouTube channel. On the YouTube website. For you today. Damn. Unfortunate. But it is what it is. I got to show off more or less what the deck does. Kind of struggling with it as like with every single game and just kind of like breaking left and right if you notice any misplays let me know i think i started looking less critically after game one though so yeah please do give me your criticisms and ideas maybe cynthia is the better card instead of tail although honestly it hasn't really come up as much as in these three games and all my other testing so it's a bit unfortunate but it is what it is so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and you know despite the losses i feel like i'm developing a really bad loss streak in these deck and fights but it is what it is um i unfortunately as a working adult don't really have time to record 10 games just to pull out three losses just to pull out the wins from those but it is what it is and hopefully you guys still enjoyed it but on that note though that's gonna be it for me today and i'll see you guys next time Bye bye